I am gonna continue working on the boat just as soon as my boat trailer is together. So if you're new here and haven't seen any of my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I'm gonna start assembling my boat trailer. I just got back from the store. I got all my hardware that I need to start the assembly. It's hopefully gonna go smoothly. Looks like I'll just set the trailer up somewhere along here and just start reassembling it. So I got the first two bolts in and it's already starting to look like a trailer. All right, so those are on. It's looking good so far. Now that those are on, these uh, the boat trailer side frames are square with the axle frame. So now, now I can make sure that the tongue is level with the rest of the boat trailer. And then I can, and then I can drill this hole. So I will um, probably put like a tire under there to raise it up. That should help level the trailer out. So let's see if I can do that. You don't want to push too hard on the on the drill bit because then it binds so you just kind of like let it turn at a slower speed and just let the drill bit do the work let the tool do the work don't do the work for the tool All right, that's awesome. So, finally got the tongue drilled through here. And I got the bolts through and the nut on. Those nuts and bolts are on. So, and the back frame, the axle frame is on. So now basically all I need to do is get the leaf springs on and the axle. I actually need to head to the store quickly to pick up uh, smaller U-bolts for the axle, attaching the axle to the leaf springs. So I'm gonna go do that right now. And I'll come back later tonight to continue working on the trailer. It's coming right along here. And finally looking like a boat trailer.
All right, so I got the leaf springs on. They don't have any, uh, they don't have any wobble in them. So that's better than what they were before. That was tiring. And the new hubs came in. So I can install these on the new axle now. Came with the seals, the bearings. So I got waterproof grease for the bearings, seeing as it's a boat trailer, figured I'd get the waterproof stuff. So here's the deal. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this is the right seal. I'm gonna basically just completely submerge the bearing in here. So just use a rubber mallet to push the seal in. I basically just made it uh, flush with the outer edge of the hub. Okay, so I actually don't have a cotter pin uh, yet for this. Um, I guess the kit didn't come with one. I thought it did, but I'll have to go out and get some cotter pins still. So for installing the cotter pin, you just want to take your, make sure your nut is, uh, just make sure your nut your castle nut or whatever nut you have on here, just make sure the nut is hand tight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it sure it's like hand tight. I'm gonna kinda turn the hub as it's tightening. You don't want the nut to be too tight because if the bearings, if you bind the bearings, they will overheat. So you wanna make sure it's hand tight and then that there's a little bit of resistance. And then for getting the cotter pin in, Either, so if you have it all the way snug, hand tight, and the hole doesn't line up with like the hole in the castle nut, don't tighten it further, but back it off by hand so the hole lines up with the castle nut. Or that way you can um, get your cotter pin in no problem. So there, I got it through and the, you can tell like it's not like tight, but it's also not loose. I can't move it back and forth. There's like really no free play. And it still, when you spin the hub, it still has like um, resistance. If you tighten this too far, your hub won't really be able to spin that well. And then when you're cruising down the highway, you are going to overheat your bearing. This cotter pin's actually a little bit longer than the original one, so it'll work. It's the same thickness. So I'm just going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the longer end of the cotter pin and bend it out. And I wanna make sure when I bend this one in, there's enough room to bend it in and it's not like hitting the the uh, washer that's in there. So I'm gonna take my punch and my hammer and I'm just gonna just tap it in. And I'm gonna hammer this out flat up against the axle. 
and then I'm gonna finish this off. Oops, just make sure that's in there. Okay, so I got that on after a little bit of trouble. Took a little bit to get that on, but it got on. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the uh, wheel bearing protector. So basically it just slides straight into the hub. I'm waiting on some square U-bolts for attaching the axle onto the leaf springs. I spent like all day looking for the right size U-bolts that I need and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I finally found them on this random website that like I couldn't even find them on Amazon. So found them on the website and they're actually in the description. They said that it's designed for attaching axles to leaf springs. And they were the right size, the right measurements. So I ordered them. They're like $9 a piece. Or they're like $9 for two of them. So I bought four, I needed four of them. And so those should be here within the next few days. Unfortunately, it would have been great if I had them now because then I could install the axle. And basically the only thing left on this is like the fenders. Okay, put the fenders back on and the winch tower that goes on the front. And also I need to put the bunks on, so. But as of right now, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.